<clears throat> like it caused a, a lid in the grill. Yeah, this thing here is all homemade. It, uh, it's got its problems, but, you know, everything does. And yeah, that's my uh, light bar I put on last year. Uh, this bolt burned out on me right here. It's to be expected. Uh, I guess it burned out. It was working and it quit. It could be a ground, I guess. But I need to keep my rear view back there. I got a little zip tie on the, on the dry shaft on the, the seat. Seat tube there. Kind of just a, a metering. This meters the seat out. It's not, not very accurate. Uh, I think one side puts out two bushel, and the other side puts out three. So across the across the drill. So it's a really good drill. It's just uh, we need. A, I'd say a 15 foot would probably work pretty good here. But we got different properties down the road, so uh, that wouldn't work out too good because it takes up the whole road. And people around here are a bunch of idiots. So it's either a 10 foot or a 20 foot. I'd rather have a 20 foot, but I mean, how are you going to justify buying one of them if you're just going to plant wheat? I guess you probably could this year. I mean, if you can lock your prices in every year. about six and a half miles an hour probably a little fast but rain's supposed to start here in about an hour or so and i'm trying to get this in uh, i gotta put the, the drill and tractor up i still gotta put the wagon up the tarp that's on there is not very good so it, it will leak but uh lots of stuff going on i'm sorry uh, i haven't been on youtube i mean i've watched a little bit of youtube channels but i really haven't uh, it's usually I watch about 10-15 minutes before I go to sleep, just to put me to sleep, and that's about it. Uh, get up early and go to bed late. I uh, I put a lot more little short clip videos on Instagram and Snapchat than I do anywhere else. So if you're on there, you can follow me. Uh, and I find it easier. It's just me. But uh, put a few pictures on there, a few short videos. But the steers are growing well. They're, the big ones are probably around 1,000, 1,100 pounds. Uh, the ones I got back in 
Bart for about 600 because they got dehorned today. Uh, the calves I got uh, a few months ago were, I don't know, 250, 300 pounds. Everything's doing well. Uh, as of right now, no sicknesses. We still have our Angus calves. Uh, the sad news of the week, my straw buyer passed away last week. Uh, the family said, they contacted us and said they will. His son and daughter are going to uh, get the rest of our straw. We still have around 10,000 bales left. So they said they'd take it. So uh, that's, we're relieved about that. But next year I'm going to have to find a new market, I'd say. They're, they're going to talk to them and see what's going on. But I don't really know what's going to happen. I'm putting this weed in. Uh, just because we're planting wheat doesn't mean you gotta bale it. We can always sling it out there on the ground and no till beans right through it. It's not a big deal. Uh, I think next year we're gonna plant quite a bit more corn. Uh, we had some weed trouble in our wheat this year that really couldn't fix. Uh, besides going and spraying a pre-emergent down right now. Uh, after or sometime in the fall, which is, you know, probably should have already done it, but if we just go ahead and spray a pre-emergent, it's supposed to take care of the weeds, but instead of doing that, we're just going to go ahead and, instead of wheat bean, we're going to put a whole bunch more corn out and uh, less wheat and beans. Uh, like I said, I hope I can find a market. Uh, had a couple people uh, wanted to hear some rambling, so here you go. Uh, yesterday I sent out three loads of straw. Today I sent out one load of straw. Uh, slop trough is done. My feed trough is done. Uh, I am I'm hauling slop twice a day. I'm still looking at tankers. Uh, I'm, I want to find one for a reasonable price. I don't need to find one with 200,000 miles on it's in mint condition. I'm going to be driving 20 or 30 miles a day. So I really don't need anything that's real fancy. Uh, and I also had to buy a tanker. So uh, a liquid tanker. Some people tell me to go up north because they're cheaper, but I'd say the reason why they're cheaper is because they got they're pitted and rusted and everything else. So I don't really know. Uh, I haven't even <coughs> looked at tankers. I have uh, looked at uh, semis, but I'm thinking maybe next year. Uh, we'll see. I'm hoping to push my steers out the door by April. I'm hoping. Uh, they're really growing well. Uh, I did bail these corn stalks off this field. Uh, I square bailed them. And yeah, it probably is pretty hard on a baler. I had to go pretty slow. But uh, I put a, a 120 square bales and, and pulled all the strings off of them this morning and turned the steers in there and they loved it. I really like the corn stalk deal. I also like the bean stubble. I'm bedding the small steers with bean stubble right now, and that seems to be working really well. So I really don't know which one's better, but I guess we'll find out. Uh, we'll be pumping new manure uh, within the next few days or weeks. Uh, the goon's full. Uh, both of them are full, actually. The hog and the cow lagoon, the steer lagoon. Um, they need to be pumped out. Uh, I'm leaving something out. I don't remember. Oh, uh, in the long range, it will be cold enough to snow. Uh, no accumu accumulation, obviously, but uh, that's got me worried on this wheat because if it does have a shoot coming out. 
and it freezes and it is unprotected, I think it will kill it. That's what I've been told anyway. But if it's already got the green stem out, it's okay. But if it's just got the, the little piece coming out, I forgot what you call it, but uh, I think it will kill it. But I'm putting this in pretty deep and I upped up the bushels. Hopefully uh, we get something out of it. Uh, not all of our wheat is going to be harvested. Uh, we're going to cut a bunch of it and wrap it for hay. Do that next year. We didn't wrap any this year. We're just too busy. And yeah, I know it, it wastes a, a third of the bale or a quarter of the bale, but it just did not have time. Uh, but anyway, we, uh, we'll get around to that later. Did buy a bunch of hay. We did have a barn burned down. It was on a lease property and it burnt. It had uh, about 65 rolls in it, but the wonderful neighbors that we have gave us a bunch of hay. So they had ex ex excess this year, uh, along with just about everybody around here. So we were able to get through. So, uh, anyway, we're going on long enough. Thanks for watching.